It's Sunday, November 20th, 2022. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, I did rest yesterday, so that was my day off. And today I decided to do some work. The weather was reasonably good. Uh, it deteriorated throughout the day. It was sunnier this morning. It clouded over and got a little breezier. Um, and why that is relevant is I, I got that work in the sea can done because it wasn't windy, so I could move things out of there and move a whole whack of other stuff in. So you notice here, I had I had some packed honey and stuff here. So I've got my tractor in the woodshop building now instead of the bee barn. Um, so I've put a few things in there now. And there's a lot of cleanup to do here yet. And I really want to make a big impact here before I start my winter projects because there's some pretty major winter projects that need to be done and I need space and I need space to work on vehicles. I need to change tires on my wife's car and do an oil change. Um, this is probably the next projects is this snowblower needs to go on the tractor. Uh, that means the ballast box has to come off the tractor. And uh, so I'll grease that up before I put it on. Uh, I brought it in here just so it would sit and thaw out overnight and then I'll spin it around in the morning and put that on the tractor because we're starting to get a few snow drifts. It's, it's snowed for a couple days uh, here, probably been snowing for more like three days, uh, mostly on, off and on, but mostly on. Um, not heavy snow, a little windy, um, so we're starting to get some snow drifts and that's a problem when people come to buy honey, they, you know, come to visit or whatever and uh, it gets stuck in the yard. There's, the snow drifts are very uh, consistent in their patterns and there's one that kind of comes right across where somebody might drive in and that's, you know, I don't want people to get stuck in there. So I need this guy, I need this guy to clear that away. Uh, kind of excited this week, getting new tires on the truck this week. So that's one of the first big things since my decision to, uh, to keep my truck and maintain it. Uh, it's going to be a long road though. There's, I wouldn't say there's a ton wrong with that truck, but there's certainly stuff I can address. Uh, so there's, there's going to be a lot, the truck's going to be in this spot a lot <laughs> this winter. Job two is a, um, brake job, I think. And then we'll go from there. Um, just working outside mostly and my feet got pretty cold. Uh, wasn't that cold. It was only minus five or something like that today. Uh, but still, it, it, you get cold on the tractor, riding the tractor around a lot, and your feet don't do much. So especially your left foot, left foot gets cold because it's not doing anything. And uh, that, that's when it gets cold. I've got, you know, heavy socks on and stuff. I don't have my bush packs on though. Uh, so maybe I should. It still gets cold in those. Anyway, that's about it. I'll keep you updated on the progress of the wood shop and uh, other assorted uh, goings on, um, getting some space. So I'm very happy about that. I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged, uh, stuff piles up on me and I get discouraged and I get frustrated. So hopefully it'll be a productive winter and there'll be lots to see on videos. Everybody likes to, well, a lot of people tell me they like the woodshop videos and I'm glad you do. Uh, so I'll try to make lots of those this winter. Um, as, as boring as I think they are a lot of time because production work, if I'm doing, you know, one project that's kind of interesting, that's, that's one thing. But if I'm just building frames for days on end, or I'm, I'm building 200 or more hive top covers, that's not that interesting 99% of the time, because it's, you know, I could be doing exactly the same thing for two to three days. And that doesn't make for good, interesting content, in my opinion. However, I will try to bring you along with what I do accomplish in here and uh, try to show you the more interesting pieces of it. So that's it for today. So hopefully we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care and have fun. It's Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. It's a very nice day today for November 22nd. Uh, the ambient temperature is, I think, minus one. Very, very bright sun. As you can tell, I'm looking right at the sun. 
and I want to spin the camera around here for a second. Uh, this is November 22nd, and so uh, we are about 50 degrees latitude, and I want to show you how how low the sun. Is. And we're about 50 degrees latitude, and the sun is this high, and we have one month to go to the winter solstice so that sun is going to be lower yet and it's just after 12 o'clock so that's as high as the sun is going to get today that's pretty low this is uh, this is straight east here and the sun is coming up over somewhere over here these days uh, so that gives you an idea of this area uh, and I thought I would use today to do, uh, do a little job here that needs to be done. It's needing, it has needed to be done since the last August. Tires on this old trailer, they're not bad, but they're certainly, you know, getting kind of old. And bringing my sugar home, I was bringing three skids of sugar home, and each skid is in excess of 2,000 pounds. And uh, the cap blew off of this tire. You can see it's gone from over the way down there to here. Uh, just this, this side of it though, oddly enough, it still holds air. Um, I have run it probably 10 miles on back roads since, very slow. So today is the day to take that off of there because on Thursday I'm heading to the tire shop to get tires put on the truck and I was thinking if this sucker is in the back of the truck they can just put a new tire on that at the same time so I hope this one is right full which it feels pretty good because what I'm gonna do instead of dragging out jacks and things I'm gonna get my little half ton hooked up I don't want to start the diesel so I'll get the little half ton hooked up to the trailer I'll put some planks behind this wheel on this side and back it up a bit and that should raise this axle off the ground so I get that tire off. I've loosened the nuts already uh, before I lift it off the ground. Um, that's, a, <laughs> that's an order that I get wrong a lot. I'll jack up a vehicle and then realize I can't get the nuts loosened and <laughs> have to put it back on the ground and loosen them up. So that's what I'm starting today with. Um, I also want to get the snowblower on the tractor uh, while it's warm out here. I've got some snow that needs to be cleared. Snowed again a little last night. Just a, just a skiff, nothing major. But it is the season. I need to be ready for that. And uh, yeah, heading into Winnipeg again tomorrow. Deliveries, I have an appointment, so I do deliveries again tomorrow. Uh, it's really good that I have deliveries when I have to drive in for other reasons. All right, that little job is done. For my next trick, I need to get this snowblower on the tractor. Uh, one thing to do quite before you put it on, you can do it afterward, but some of it's easier before, is give it a nice grease job. I will grab my grease gun, and it's important to use a low temperature grease. This isn't quite as bad a, an application because uh, it lives indoors generally. And once it's uh, once it gets cold, it's been running a while. So there's two grease points that are hard to get at once you put it all together. One of them's in here. Ow. Still, I'm getting old. You get pains in your joints for no reason at all. It's just, oh, that hurts now. Look at that. Okay, part of the process of this, you have to stay organized because I'll show you. Step one is to take the ballast box off the tractor. And you gotta be ready because um, I have to position the snowblower correctly. 
uh, before I do this part because once I take the ballast box off, uh, the snowblower is heavy enough I can't lift it with the tractor uh, to move it around. So I need to be ready. And once I take this off, uh, the tractor has limited lifting capability. All right, so the only job left is to center this, and it really is quite important to get it straight. I can see that this side is, it looks low to me. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these pallets, and then I can, I can uh, fine tune that. That's perfect, no adjustment needed. snowblower works very nicely it's set up nice and uh, runs well everything's in good repair which is really nice after a long summer of sleeping in the shed I think that's all for today I have a little bit of prep to do for tomorrow to get into Winnipeg do some do some deliveries and uh, and then that's it and then that pushes us into Thursday Thursday is exciting new tires on the truck so uh, you know, that'll be, that'll be really great. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun. It's Thursday, November 24th, 2022. It's uh, almost 8.30 a.m. And look at how low the sun is here. Um, this is, this is straight east here. So you see how low that sun is coming up in the east very low and that's why you know it comes up at eight o'clock eight to eight thirty and it goes down again between four and five o'clock or so and we've got what 28 days to go before uh, winter solstice which is uh, when the days start getting longer. And just as a reference, uh, the last few days around solstice, before and after, the length of the day uh, changes by less than a minute per day. Uh, and that, that change gets more dramatic as you reach the equinox, which is uh, halfway between uh, winter solstice and summer solstice. So people look at equinox as the first day of spring. They look at winter solstice as the first day of winter. Well, we're a month away from winter. You think it's, a <laughs> no winter has, has arrived. It's definitely the first day of winter has arrived before, before now. Uh, so I got my little truck here and uh, it's doing pretty good today is new tire day and i'm very happy about that uh and the reason i say it's doing pretty good is you look at it it's uh, it's in good shape the back's kind of sitting in a hole so it might look low but it's not uh because she's right full there's uh 400 pounds of softener salt in there and there's about a thousand pounds of honey in there so that needs to be unloaded um 
and then I need to uh, throw my trailer tire in there and get off to town and get my new tires put on my truck and hopefully a new trailer tire put on that rim too. They're pretty busy if they don't need, if they don't have time to do the trailer tire today, that's okay. They can do that at their leisure. I'll pick it up because I'm not using that trailer uh, with any great frequency in the winter. Um, so got to get out unloading this truck. Uh, a lot of it goes in sea can. Some of it goes elsewhere. And yeah, this was the result of yesterday. Yesterday was in Winnipeg. Uh, did some deliveries. I think I did three deliveries. Um, my deliveries are getting really good. Uh, you know, people, I don't know if it's just the season, but people are, people are buying honey. They're buying a pail or two pails or, you know, a pail and a few jars. There's a lot of gift giving season and people are being generous. They're buying kilograms of honey for gifts. And, uh, so that really helps pay for the gas. Um, Every trip to the city, to the, the city of Winnipeg, uh, you know, when I do a few deliveries, it's costing me 65, 75, 80 dollars worth of gas. Um, so I'm really making nothing on the honey that I'm selling when I go, but it is, it is paying for the fuel in the tank. So there's that, you know, it is a business expense. Uh, so there is that. And Thankfully, I can, I can usually drop quite a few boxes of honey at a store when I go, and it's the stores. The stores, you might call the stores my bread and butter. The stores are the bread and butter. You know, that's kind of where the, what the business relies on. The deliveries are customer service. The deliveries are PR. The deliveries are market penetration, if you want to think of it that way. Market share all that kind of thing. You want to stay in the minds of the people so that when they think of honey, uh, they think of you. So it's important to do what you can to stay in the minds of people. And home deliveries are one of those things. And honestly, um, I always give the option. People understand today the cost of that free delivery. And... I always give them the option to leave a gratuity on the invoice. And yesterday I was very blessed with some generous customers. Uh, all three left generous gratuities for the delivery on the invoice. I'm very happy about that. Thank you so much. That, that helps in a remarkable way to uh, keep my business afloat. <laughs> um, you know, things get too bad, the business closes and then and then you don't get to enjoy Manitoba's most delicious honey anymore. Uh, anyway, so it's it's a beautiful morning out here. It's minus six, I think. Um, and uh, there's almost absolutely, almost absolutely, almost no uh, air movement at all. It's so quiet and so still. It's one of those mornings that you can't hear a sound. The, the highway is a mile and a half away and still hear a little bit of traffic there but uh, traffic on a highway it's a mile and a half away with a lot of trees between me and that you can imagine how quiet it is for me to hear that but that's what I can hear it's so quiet some some days I come out it's so quiet that have you ever experienced uh, so quiet it's deafening it's so quiet that you think you've gone deaf uh, because your ears are normally used to just a little bit of background and sometimes I come out here and there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing uh, those times. And it's quite the experience. Since this is a vlog, while I'm sharing some of the uh, duties of rural life, this, this truck covers a lot of those things right now. Uh, so I'm heading out just on a little errand. It's not very far away. I'm going to town. Going to town, going to a little village I live near. It's only three miles away. There's a guy who wants to buy some honey. Uh, those softener bags, you think, well, what happens to the bags after I dump the salt out? Those are nice bags. They're very thick and robust. And I save them for various projects. And one of them is the litter box. 
<laughs> clean the litter box out and uh, I just take that back in the hay field and dump it out. It's good fertilizer. Uh, so the real crux to the issue is, well, while I'm in town, uh, in town in the little village, I'll get the mail and I have some letters to mail there too. Uh, we are blessed to have a little post office. It's a full service post office. It's not open very many hours during the day is all. So you got to catch them while they're there. Uh, and then the garbage, I have to go to the dump. Uh, again, that's, I don't know, five or seven miles away. And so you got the garbage, got the recycling, and then later on I go to town, I got the water. So we actually buy our water, our drinking water, from a place in town. It has, um, like it's distilled water, so it's very nice to drink. Um, I can drink the, the well water, the softened well water, just fine. Uh, I, I like this better, it's cleaner. And my wife has to drink very, very clean water. She's got a very sensitive stomach. Okay, so town, village, town, and city. Okay, you hear me talk about go to Winnipeg, that's the city. Go to town is Selkirk, Manitoba, and a village I live near Lebo, Manitoba. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. And I uh, can't film while I drive, so that's all I'm going to say about that. It's Friday, November 25th, 2022. And uh, it's a little little cool, there's a bit of a breeze. I hope the mic is okay in it still. Uh, the bee barn fan is going crazy. It's on high speed because uh, it's, I think, three degrees out here. Uh, the sun is kind of going down. I can hear the water dripping off the roof. So I know it's, it's warm out here since the sun is not uh, causing any melting. The kitty's here making sure there's there's no mice around. Uh, so it's nice and the cats can get out. They kind of don't like winter. We we get along that way. We don't agree that winter is the best season. But they're pretty tough that way. So I've been just doing some some cleanup and organizing stuff today. Just Friday stuff, you know. And I want to show you this. So you've, you've seen me uh, show you this, the sun up here straight south. And this is about where I was standing when I did that. And it's about 4.30 right now. And so I get my face out of it. You see where that sun is. It's not far off south. This is south right here. And so it's not very far west and it's going down. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, so that's that's how short the days are here in the winter. Very long days in the summer make up for it. Uh, tire shop decided not to do the tire the same day as the uh, tires on the truck. So that little project, that little project there, is going to be waiting for another day. That's okay. It's not hurting anything. Uh, I did get the brand new tires on the truck though. They look great, and they uh, have really nice traction. And moreover than that. They're new. The other tires are getting kind of old. Uh, that was the biggest problem with them. They were getting worn down, but they certainly weren't, uh, you know, worn beyond service. But uh, they were a little, I wouldn't, they weren't dangerous, but, you know, always wanting for a little bit better traction in the snow. Uh, so, got the new tires. I got uh, BF Goodrich Radial TA All-Terrain KO2 tires. So that's what I got. They're exactly the tire, a little different size, but exactly the tire that I have on my one ton truck. And exactly in every way, um, including uh, load rating. So they're, a, a, they're what an old timer like me might call a 10 ply tire. They're, uh, they're, they're rated by letter these days. They're a, a load rated E, E tire. They'll take 80 PSI. Uh, Put that in kind of perspective, uh, the one ton truck here, the one ton truck, let's see this way, the one ton truck here um, specs out uh, a, a, a D rated tire, which is not as heavy a tire as an E tire, it's just that it's not a very common load rate. Uh, so you always just put, you always just put E tires on it anyway. So having an E-tire on a half ton, 
um, yeah, that's a nice heavy duty tire. So it can haul whatever loads I want to haul in there, you know, up to the, the safe capacity of the truck itself. Uh, so on the video today, I wanted to just kind of qualify some things. I was putting together the video today and it ended up being about a two and a half hour, <laughs> two and a half hour video. Uh, so I kind of took mercy on you and <clears throat> I cut out all of the detail. I wanted to get back to really what the vlog is supposed to be. The vlog is supposed to be just kind of a more talk and more catch up, more description than detail on doing things. And so I'm, I'm going to dump the rest of that into a separate video. <laughs> She's deciding that it's time to go in. She comes by and says, let me in. <laughs> She's got her own little door. She can go in any time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put that in a separate video and I'll have that out in a day or two uh, for you to see if you're interested. It's, it's really not very interesting. It's just me doing things and talking as I'm doing things which is kind of what I do, right? And so we've got more aircraft all the time. I don't know if you can see it, it's over there somewhere. There it is, you can just barely see it right there. Yeah, so that's, that's today, that's Friday. And again, it's not very late, but the sun's going down. And I'll tell you, it gets cold fast when the sun goes down. Get a lot of heating off of that sun. Um, I'm not going to go in the bee barn. I might just take you in there and show you around for something interesting. But I'm not going to go in there because the bees uh, are not very settled in in this temperature. I see that fan is, you can feel it right here. It's really blowing hard. So I got to go put the tractor away. And uh, my wife will be off work soon and we're gonna go spend Friday. Friday evening is kind of our, kind of our date night at home. We have our little date night at home together every Friday if we can. So that's on the docket tonight. And I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I so much appreciate it. Uh, send me a comment, I love the comments. I try to reply to each and every one. Um, sometimes if there's not a question or something, I don't know what to say. It's kind of, you know, I enjoy reading them and then it's give you a thumbs up and that's about it. But I do anyway. So that's it. And I'll, uh, I'll pick this up again on the weekend and let you know what's going on. Um, and you'll see those other videos. I don't know if it's going to be one or more than one video coming up on kind of what I was doing this week. Uh, but this vlog is just a look at it as the table of contents <laughs> and there's going to be expanded uh, chapters on on what I've been doing in the following videos so by the sound of it I have to go and let somebody in here because she's hollering at me to come and let her in so I don't know she's she's funny that way she'd rather let make me go and let her in than actually just go and use her door which she's been using for the last 10 years. Oh well. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Have fun. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> that squeaky. That squeaky thing. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. Yes, let's go in then. I'm cold too.